They are the major crossing points linking two constituencies, namely Ndola Central and Kabushi. Wunga and Tuapia crossing points are on the verge of collapsing. If this bridge washed out, as we are, you can see it, many more than 80,000 from my, my people in my ward in Tuapia, they will, they will be affected. Ndola Central Member of Parliament, Frank Tayari, who was in a company of officials from Ndola City Council, inspected the damaged crossing points. You know, this part of uh, Tuapia Ward uh, for people crossing into Kabushi. And so, for pedestrians, this is a common crossing point. But as you have seen, um, the safety issues obviously here are non existent. He wants the local authority to quickly deal with the problem. So we cannot overemphasize that um, we, needed, we need to do this like yesterday. Um, it's very, very uh, unsafe for our children crossing because the water levels sometimes are actually rising so high. Ndola City Council is already looking at using the disaster component on the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, to work on the crossing points. We received an application for a crossing point under DMMU, Ndola Central, for it should be consideration under 2024 funding. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So as uh, engineering services thus far, we've uh, we're just in the process of undertaking the preliminary assessment of this place. Over 80,000 residents of Tuapia Ward would be affected if the situation at the two crossing points is left unchecked. Chembe Mbale, ZNBC News in Indola.